welcome back to my channel to the Sparkle Now Design. Today's video is a Model 1 swatch of these pots that I got off of Amazon. I want to say a huge thank you to all the new subscribers. Thank you very much for joining our channel and subscribing. My name's Vicky and my hubby's name's Andy. And for those of you that have been with me since day dot and is part of my little family on here now, all the best and love you loads too. Right, we're going to get swatched on these today. I thought it would be easier to get the gels out of the way then, because there's 25 pigments of the pigment powders that we showed in the haul. Um, I've got to swatch 25 swatch sticks and then I've got to put two colours on and I need to prep that and I've not got round to prepping that. So, I'm going to start off with these, then the beetles, then the uh, meter powders. But I have had a little practice of the meter powders, so this is for two, like an ombre, which obviously I'll, I need to leave it a little bit less uncured. I'm just, I was just having a quick play, and I think they're going to ombre lovely. This one's a silver grey. I think that was absolutely stunning. That is just one of the faves. This one's one of my favourites as well. It's a gorgeous iridescent gold white. Then I used this one, I think it was called Coffee or something like that. I can't remember now, but look at that guys. That was just, just the most minutest bit ever that gave that full coverage. And I only got a little bit of the powder out of each to make a rainbow on this long now. Um, I was running out of I makeup part makeup brushes so that's why you got a bit of the other colours in them but I mean I was trying to have a play you get the idea of what I was trying to do to see if it'll work and they do so awesome job on my behalf I don't know if anyone else has done that as a video if not with Mika powder and using them as like you would do the the neon chrome pigments that you can get but I thought if you can use the pigment powders like you do and on brain all that stuff but look like these ones hang on I'll just show you one of the ones of what I'm trying to get at get you know the pigments I thought if you could do it with them maybe you can do it with the pigment mink powders so hence by I got those and I could also make coloured acrylics, I can also use them in my resins when I do resins and stuff like that. So I've got a multitude of, multitude of uses out of the Mika powders. So that's that little bit. Now, I still ain't opened the metal, um, the um, inside the boxes. I'm going to use their brush today. That's six. Five, four, three, two, and one. Anyone that wants this, that's got these, um, let me know in the comments and let me know what you think of these uh, gels. If you think it's worth the money. All I'm doing is I'm just literally trying to disperse any of the powders that you get in your brushes and stuff like that because they put like a powder resin in it for I'm just doing that trying to get it out like a powder resin in it as you can see it's all over the brush and all that and they put it in there to secure your brush is going to come in one piece through transit so that's that ready to go I've already base coated the tips on the underside and then when I flip it over you're going to get the shiny top coat on one side and I'm trying to find my matte top coat and the underside I'm going to matte, matte, I don't have any matte top coat. I'm going to, I'm just, I'm just using the Beatles matte top coat. Um, and yes, so what we're going to do is I'm going to open these up off the camera and then we're going to get into the swatching in it. Alright, be a minute, you'll see me straight away. See you in a few. 
Right guys, I'm all set up. What I'm going to do is, I'm going to do one coat with you all and then I'm going to do second coat off camera and then top coat off camera and then we'll come back at the end. I'll speak to you in a bit. is them swatched and top coated i decided to just do the one layer because i thought they were so pretty as they were you could do two layers you could put them over a color it's entirely up to you but for me i like them as they are um i would say go and get it i highly recommend this kit the only thing i would suggest was if it came with a base and the top coat if that makes sense because i actually use the ba obviously base and top coat that what I already had here at hand um other than that there's no flaws in it I love every single one but my favorites are number four the Tiffany pink and this one Because I found this glitter one is, was very unique. So, to me, a big thumbs up to Model 1s. I absolutely love this kit. And my shout outs in this video, guys, is to Louise's Nails Ream. Go over and check her out. I'll leave her link in the description box below. And Sassy's Family. Go and check out Sassy Family as well. She's absolutely sweetie. And I will see you all in our next video, guys. Stay safe. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Click on the notification bell. That will let you know of any new updates. And I will see you all soon. Goodbye.